said a single word yet in this video so here's me saying words so anyways today is sunday it's currently 10 24 a.m and it's summer which means planet fitness teens go for free Woo! and it was fun i went with my mom and we worked out together and this year my sister adela is 14 this summer she can do it so we're gonna go together me her and my mom and i'm very excited because she hasn't been there yet before and she doesn't have to use any of the equipment so i'm gonna be showing her so there might be a lot of people so i might feel a little bit awkward filming but we'll see lots of you have asked for more reading vlogs and also lots of you have asked for just regular day in my life's vlogs so i'm kind of doing both in this video i'll just be taking you guys along on a day with me and also reading a lot in this video and talking about books anyways let's get ready for for the gym. For some reason, I always record on the days that my hair is kind of greasy. On those days, I use dry shampoo, and today is my hair washing day, so I'll be washing my hair today. <laughs> It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work. Hey guys, I'm out of the shower now. I wash my hair. As you can see and i'm dressed in my pajamas super duper comfy even though it's only 2 40 pm but it feels like the evening plus it's raining outside which is so awesome because now it's gonna be super cozy to read and the book that i'm currently reading i'm reading it on my kindle i'm actually reading two books right now a middle grade one and a young adult one the young adult one that i'm reading is we hunt the flame and i've heard so many good things about this i did hear that it was kind of slow paced but i also heard that it was definitely worth it so i started and it is slow paced um i think i'm around i don't know let me check i'm on page 41 and there's nearly 500 pages so this will take a while i'm i don't know how i'm liking it so far i considered just stopping reading it but then i asked some friends from book club no you should definitely continue it because we've basically only heard good things about it so i'm like sure i'll continue it see if i like it if i don't and then I'll probably just stop reading. But the other book that I'm reading is called It's Boba Time for Pearl Lee. And this is a middle grade book. It's about Pearl. She loves to crochet and her parents are like very techy. And her sisters also, they want her to like be techy like them. They think a, a Migurumi crochet is a waste of time basically. And they don't encourage her crocheting. So yeah, I am liking this so far. Because I love to crochet also. So I feel like this book is really great for someone who like, if you like to crochet. And also, she goes to boba shops so it's really fun to read about that not really boba shops usually one shop she's like a regular there and yeah i like this book it revolves around friendship boba and art and i'm currently on chapter 24 page 208 and there's 362 pages so 50 58 percent done so basically midway and something just happened in the book that i don't really like it kind of made me dislike the main character because she's kind of annoying now in my opinion first she was already a bit annoying but it was fine it wasn't anything too big like everyone is annoying sometimes but now so yeah let's keep reading <laughs> The 
This portion of the video is a paid collaboration with Sohos. Sohos is an eyewear brand and they sent over some of their glasses for me to try out and show you guys. So I chose a few pairs. First pair we have here in this box is we have another box. And we open this up and here we have the glasses. So this pair of glasses is called Echo and here it is. These look very trendy. I feel like the style that describes this is Y2K maybe, but here is what they look like. I like the shape. I would say that their glasses aren't really meant for actual sun protection. I feel like they're more suited as accessories like this or like this Anyways, next pair. This is our next pair. It's called Fire. Wow, it's very reflective. You can see my phone. Um, And I love the outside of this, but when you put it on, I did not know this when I chose this pair, but the color is actually blue, and I highly dislike this kind of color for glasses. Um, I'll put it close to the camera so you can see what it looks like. Here, that's the shade. So unless you're into that, then I don't know, I wouldn't really recommend this pair of glasses unless you're just using it as an accessory. Next pair is Berry or Beret, I don't know. But here's the next pair. I really like the color of these lenses. They look kind of big for my face, to be honest, but the color, the shade is so good. I love it. I, I really like it. This is definitely much better than the last one, in my opinion. Here's what the shade looks like. As you can see, it just colors everything in a rosy pink tint, which I love. That's kind of what I expected this shade to be since the outside is like a pink mirrored frame. I mean, lens. This is much better. I don't know if I would wear this because it's a bit too big for my face, but the shade is quite nice. And the last pair that we have here, I let my sister choose a pair for herself and she chose this pair which is called Journey. And here's what it looks like. Um, I will say that this pair feels a lot different from all the others. This one feels very cheap. So I'm a bit confused by the big difference in quality. The rim is plastic for example and it feels like a very cheap plastic. Like I feel like I can get these for a couple of dollars at the dollar store. So I don't know if I'd recommend this pair. Adela! Try this one. <laughs> okay, bye. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, those are all the pairs of glasses that Sohos has sent me. I'll have their website links down below, and you can use my discount code Maya15 for 15% off your purchase. Also, their website is currently running a June prescription from which you can get 20% off eyeglass lenses and 15% off sunglasses. Thank you again to Sohos for collaborating with me in this portion of the video, and now let's go back to the video. As per usual, my room is in a funny state again, so let's clean up. Hey guys, I have some cookies here that my sister made. My little sister found them. Oatmeal cookies. She made them kind of pinkish. <laughs> and I just found out about some news that I am very excited for. And if you are a big fan of Marissa Mayer, like me, then you will be excited too. If you don't know who Marissa Mayer is, she's like one of the best authors in my opinion. And she made the Lunar Chronicles series, the Renegade series, Heartless, which is my favorite book, Gilded, Duology, and Instant Karma. I have all her books, yes. <laughs> Anyways. Today on her Instagram, she posted that the Lunar Chronicles is going to become a movie! Wow! Multiple movies, actually. And I'm very excited for it. It's not gonna be live action, it's gonna be an animated. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna work out. It's kinda good that this will be an animated one because often we're disappointed. We're like, oh, why'd you choose that actor for the role? You should've chosen this actor. But this will be an animation, so I'm very curious to see how that will turn out. I think it will be good. I hope it will be good. And Warner Bros. will be partnering with, with this animation company. I forgot what it's called. And that animation 
animation company made Ron's Got Wrong. And as you can see, this is the animation style of that. So I'm just really hoping that the Lunar Chronicles is not going to look like that. I want the Lunar Chronicles to look more, maybe like 2D. Maybe like Carmen Sandiego or Shira or maybe 3D, like something like this. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on this massive new news. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I wonder when it's gonna come out. But yeah, let me know what you think of this and your theories, maybe. I'm excited to read those comments. Cheers! that yesterday I went to Barnes & Noble, right, and I bought a book. Well, let me show you guys what I got since I know you guys definitely want to see. I finally bought The Hunger Games, the first book. I'm very, very excited to read this. And I made sure I got the best possible copy with the no damage and the edges. They're just so smooth. I just keep on touching them. And this is definitely a very popular book that I still haven't read. I have read all of these books. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Like every single one on that shelf I read and almost every single one on this shelf I have read. So yeah. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm really excited to read this. If you have read this, let me know what you think of the series down below. Anyways, I think this is going to be it for this video. It's currently 10.56 p.m., almost 11. So I'm going to go brush my teeth, get ready for bed, and then go to bed. But obviously before bed, I'm going to be reading a bit on my Kindle. This is a super old version of Kindle, though. It's like fifth generation or something. I got it when I was like seven or eight or something so yeah i'm gonna be reading on that and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe down below for more videos similar to this and i'll see you guys in my next video follow my social medias bye